Welcome everyone to another Nottingham Forest preview and um, yeah, it's it's interesting this isn't it because our form's gone from being pretty good, let's be honest, unbeaten since the restart to being, well, quite terrible hasn't it? Obviously we are taking on Preston this weekend and yes, I will be doing a live watch along i realize now that i can't actually buy the i follow stream because apparently i have to be a season ticket holder to access it which is really quite frustrating so uh yeah my watch alongs are actually going to continue to be listen alongs uh, and i was actually going to try and get some graphics as you would have seen some of you may be in a little test stream i did yesterday uh for like a minute well actually no it was the day before um but it, it didn't really work because the audio is like 10 seconds out of sync. So I might just have to stick to how it was last week. But anyway, not relevant. But that is coming this weekend. But let's just recap the week for Forest. It's been um pretty um interesting. Let's just say that. We conceded a 97th minute goal to um to, to Derby away. Um yeah, and then we've also got, <laughs> we also lost to Fulham in the 94th minute of added time. We just love conceding goals in added time, don't we? You know, we do. And the worst part about the Fulham game was as well, it's not even like they went out fighting. We didn't even play that well at all. We just could not get any rhythm going. And just like with that Charlton game, which was embarrassing because it was a team that was struggling, it's, basically what happened is they scored and then they got every single man behind the ball. I mean, if you're relying on Adama Diakabi to make an impact, I don't think we actually deserve to get promoted, do we? When Jack Carvalho is on the bench and you don't bring him on when you have five substitutes available. I really don't understand that. Like, what the hell has Jao done to Sabri and Martin O'Neill? What has he done? He must have really wound him up or something. Because why would you not bring him on? In a game like that, where we need a bit of, you know, life to it and creativity, you don't bring on Jack Carvalho. Like, I don't understand that. But anyway, let's actually try and stay a little bit more positive. I do think that we will definitely get the playoffs. Whether we win them or not, we'll see. I think we can beat Brentford because we have beaten them both times this season. And I was pretty confident facing Fulham until um, two days ago. So, yeah. Uh, obviously... Who's the other team in the playoffs? I forgot that. Currently Cardiff, only we lost the first game and then we won away from home. Derby, only they're currently losing to West Brom, so you know it looks like they're bottling it as well. Preston is it's not one that we really do well in at all. I don't actually remember the last time we beat Preston. Last season I seem to remember we drew 0 0 at Deepdale, uh, and we I think we lost. I think I don't even know. I don't I, I cannot even remember the first game. Probably was that boring. We drew the first game there this season. I do know that. And we were losing with like 10 minutes left. And then Adoma. Yet again, was, Adoma should be in the team ahead of uh, the Akabi. Um, I think they're like the lowest scoring team in the championship of late. I don't even know. Since like March. I might be completely wrong about that. But I, I heard from one of my mates. Uh, apparently that is true. He might be wrong. I don't know. And of course, after this, only three games remaining in the main season. And hopefully for us playoffs we we could we're on the brink of seeing the playoffs but losing that following game really didn't help and another thing with that following game as well we lost to a team near us and normally we beat them you know this season from what i remember um i mean maybe not counting cardiff because most of the season cardiff haven't even been in the playoffs really have they but uh west brom are the only team that have been a regular staple of the promotion um places that we actually lost to this season we beat leeds of course fulham away um, Brentford both times, obviously, and if you if you can count Cardiff currently, obviously we beat them away as well. We normally beat teams around us, so Fulham was a very rare occasion where we didn't turn up against one of the top sides. Because normally, Forest fans know this, we don't. We normally beat them and then occasionally drop the stupid points to teams like Charlton, you know, and Wigan. Teams like that. But after this Preston game, we have Swansea, a tough game again, because they are also going for promotion. Uh, we have, we've got quite a good record against them. Last season, I think we drew 0-0 away from home. Beat them 2-1. I think we played quite poor in that game as well at home. And then we beat them 1-0 in the 90th minute to Samedo this season, quite early on. I think it was like in September or even maybe even August. And then these two games, if we want to go up, these two games must be easy 
Just easy, easy wins, okay? Now I said that, I'll probably go and throw it away against both of those. But if we do, that is embarrassing. We should be beating Barnsley. We've beaten them 1-0 at home. Not great. We should have done better than that. And Barnsley, of course, remember, they're up for it. They're fighting for the state in the championship. Only by this stage, they may even have got relegated. Because it, this would be like with the second game uh, left to go. And Stoke, they're pretty much safe, really. They probably won't get relegated. But uh, they're also down there. And we beat them 3-2 away from home this season. That game, the one and only time that Forest were top of the league this season. Back to Preston. I normally do this a little bit earlier on in the video. But we'll just get on with it now. Uh, their last game, they drew with Huddersfield 0-0. That's, that's quite a poor result. Uh, they should be beating a team like Huddersfield. Preston, uh, they also lost to Derby. So this is actually pretty poor... Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm literally seeing this for the first time. I normally go ahead. I have no idea about this. Preston are actually shocking. Their form is really bad. Since they've come back, they drew with Luton. Team really struggling. Lost to Cardiff. Yes, they're on form, but they still lost to them. Lost to Derby. Drew with Huddersfield. Before the break, they lost to QPR at home. QPR, man. Uh, not, not that great of a team, let's be honest. Fulham. Probably fa fair enough. West Brom. Their last win was the 22nd of February when they beat, they beat Hull at home. Wow. We've got to be winning this. Okay. Yes, okay, our form against them isn't, it's quite patchy. But based off that, if we don't win this, we don't deserve to go up. Let's be honest. And if we don't, I really, I will start to worry that we are going to bottle Maybe the player. I think we will because like, we've been in it all season. And plus the fact we have still got quite a nice gap. But I just think that that's a little bit of a worry, isn't it? Like three straight games where you don't win. And you're meant to be a team for promotion. And it's the end of the season as well, pretty much. So based off that, I'm, I've got to predict us to win this. I, mean, I think it will be tough because we're pressing on the table again. They are, wow. God, I really haven't researched this. They're actually 11th. I had no idea. This is mental. This is actually... I, okay, I'm literally reacting this for the first time. They're 11th and their form's terrible. We've got to be winning this. We've got to be winning this. I'm going to go for 2-1. Do I say 2-1? Okay. Okay, I'm going to be brave. 2-0 Forest. Only I'm not sure. R rant, Forest go from normally having a quite a poor performance to being fantastic. That tends to happen a lot with us. Like Huddersfield... And then we went and beat Hull and played really well, for example. Um, but yeah, that's basically it for this preview. It might have been a little bit of a longer one because I spoke for a little bit longer than I normally would. Um, but yeah, if you have enjoyed, please do like and subscribe to Rads. Of course, there will be another live listen along uh, the weekend for this game on Saturday, 3 p.m. kickoff. Uh, really looking forward to doing that. Like and subscribe, and come on, you Reds!